All right. We'll go ahead and hit broadcast. I got everything going tonight, folks. <laughs> it's all right here. I even got my notes. All right, Jay here. And the question is, as usual, what do I want to talk about this evening? All right, let me just make sure I can see myself first. That's always good to be able to do. And I go live yet. <laughs> I missed one button. In order to go live, of course, you have to push the button to go live. And I didn't do that. So I am about to go live on Facebook. Okay. So give me just a half a second here. And yep, yep, yep. I can see myself. There I am. I made it. To go live. All right. Okay. Let me take this on Facebook. Okay. So give me just a half a second. I just had to take sound off so that way I can't repeat to myself. All right. I'm live on Facebook. And normally you get some signals that tell you they're taking time and they're gonna build up your friends group for you. So I get a chance to check my white beard I got here. Yeah, okay. It's almost just like my t-shirt. <laughs> well, 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 well. Hello everybody. Uh, of course, my name is Jay. And um, I had a hard time figuring out what I was gonna talk about tonight. So I got a couple of things I wanna talk about, okay? Let me take one more peek and see what they're saying about building my audience. That's always cool to watch that. Um, okay. Well, I guess they built my audience. <laughs> All right. What are we going to talk about? I'm looking for something to talk about. Some good stuff here. I put up a, a uh, this is really funny, yesterday I put up a question. It was a very simple question, okay? It said, how much monthly income needed to live your dream life? Now, I kind of cut it short because if you don't, if you use too many words, what's gonna happen is it's gonna go large and I don't want to do that. So basically, what I really wanted to say was how much Monthly income do you need to live your dream life? <laughs> I'm shocked at the answers, okay? Because I've gotten everywhere from 3,000 to 6,000, 4,000. So I can say, you can say the average, average was somewhere around uh, $1,000 a week, okay? The highest I got, and listen to this, the highest I got out of the people who, who answered, because a number of people that I thought would answer, all my friends who are network marketers, mm -hmm. <laughs> they did not, all right? Uh, one broke the into five figures. It actually came with a figure of 15,000, okay? And I, her and I are talking, actually, as to how we're gonna help her do that. So um, those that, that I reached out to have responded, of course, I thank you. Anything that I do online, what I'm trying to do is to uh, be able to share my talents, okay? I've been, I've been blessed, and in life, when you're blessed, of course, what you want to do is that you want to bless others. So, here's the sad part. Those people that said they wanted the, the $3,000, $4,000, $5,000 a month, okay? Statistically, if it was... 10, if it was 10, only two would get started, and well, actually three. Three would get started, and one will make it. Okay? Now, here's the problem with that. They all start out equal. All right? Now, remember I said 10, right? The ones that didn't start, they gave up. They didn't even get in the race. They just said, you know, well, uh, he said dream, right? Okay, I'll dream. Uh, $5,000 a month, that's good. Well, let, me, let me tell you something, $5,000 a month, that's about $60,000 a year, puts you probably in about a 30% tax bracket, which probably leaves you about $40,000 to spend. So is that enough money? No, not really, okay? 
I was always told that if you have a dream, you take your dream, amount of money you want to make, as an example, and then you double it, and then you double it again. And that'll get you, get you to about what you really need. All right, so when you say you need 4000 to be happy, you're really talking about $12,000. In reality, $12,000 uh, times 10, what's that, 120? So you're looking about a 140, something like that. Okay, 140, yeah, 144,000. You're just getting in the ballpark. You know, people don't take the cost of living or what it really costs to buy things. Like the average price of your average car is what nowadays, $35,000, $40,000? Somewhere in that area, okay? If you live in Europe, you need to push it up a little bit more than that. Average price of a home nowadays, decent home, decent neighborhood, would you say comfortably, uh, on the average, maybe four fifty, five fifty, five hundred fifty thousand from the, not four hundred fifty dollars, four hundred fifty thousand, five hundred fifty thousand, somewhere in that neighborhood. I need to talk to one of my realtor buddies to give you some good figures. Um, now remember, I, I retired from from um, financial planning, uh, twenty twelve, so. Back then when I was in that, just like I tell you right now that you need to be a professional or an expert in whatever business you're in, in my financial planning business, I was an expert. I went to school, I got the licenses, okay? So when I gave out somebody some information, it was real, the real dope. I held webinars probably twice a week for large audiences anywhere. What's the highest I did? 440 people, I think that was the highest. The average was somewhere between uh, probably 40 people at a time. That's a nice, comfortable size. That people, when, by the time you get two people, they remember the information that you give them, okay? Now, when we talk about success, to me, this is the way I see success. Success is not being, is being able to take your, your wife or your kids downtown and you shop and you don't worry about the cost. You're not worried about what they spend. Or um, let's say you drive a $100,000 car, and this is what my, um, one of my mentors told me. He said, son, if you had to think about the price of gas, then you can't afford that car. That's when you know that you've made it. Uh, three or four vacations a year, that, that's financial security. That means you're doing something that you love to do, and then you're enjoying the fruit of your work at the same time. Now, you know, this is sad to say this, but this is a reality when we're talking about dream incomes. And this is something I want you to, to explain to you. I'm not gonna be in here a long time. When you think about dream incomes, I'm very sorry, but a job, unless you're a neurosurgeon, okay, or one of these guys out there who, um, reshape the stars you know what i'm talking about okay the silicone and all that good stuff um or if you happen to be selling million dollar homes you know at uh, five percent profit or something like that these are those jobs that are far and few you notice what i just said job okay a job is not going to get you to your dream you need a business. Okay, don't believe me? Ask our president. Ask the Donald. He'll tell you. Okay, or well, look what happened to the Clintons after they got out of uh, the White House and were able to really go to work. I just found out my, my wife was telling me she read something like the Obamas, they want to pay them something like uh, 80, this is a crazy figure she told me, 80 million a piece to write their own books? 80 million a piece. That's heavy, okay? But that's putting you in a financial situation where you never have to worry. Now, do you need all that money to be comfortable? No, you do not, okay? I, I will tell you this, to be comfortable though, you need to be breaking five figures a month, all right? Just to have something left over that's for you and your family, after you pay taxes, because you're going to pay taxes. But the unique thing about being in business for yourself is that, again, you've got over 400 write-offs. Okay? 
I don't care if your business costs you $25 a month, uh, $125 a month, $200 a month. You've got some huge write-offs. So that's something you need to think about. Um, I told you I'm going to keep this one short, right? Did I tell you the truth? <laughs> no. Let me, let me give you an update of what's going to happen here because I've been thinking about this this month and I need to uh, give my business a shot. So what I'm going to start doing, and the first one will be Thursday night, um, I'm guessing around 8 p.m., okay? Um, somewhere eight, between 8 and 8.30 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, I'm going to start doing my Show Me the Money webinar. Okay. I want to help more people. But here's the thing. And you've heard me say this before. A lot of people will not be honest with you. They won't tell you that they're not making money. They want to put up a show, okay, trying to draw you in. And the knowledge, I keep telling people, 40 years I've been doing direct marketing. Okay, so I can read the signs. So when you hear somebody say, I'm good, no, they're not good. Okay, um, I've looked at so many businesses since 2012. I've looked, first thing I look is the, I look at their comp plan, I look at who's behind them, I look at all that stuff. So when I choose a business to market, I try to choose a business that has a track record and is solid. Yes, I'm gonna be honest, I've, I've, last couple of years I had some friends draw me into some businesses that were startups. And there's a couple out there right now, some of them I think start beginning of next month, and everybody's saying this is going to be the next great thing. I guarantee you six months from now, that business won't be around. Or those businesses won't be around. Okay? So I chose to go with a company that's already got a track record. It's been around, uh, what now, seven years? Yeah, seven years. Seven, I first ran into them in 2010. Okay? Solid management, debt-free company. That's the kind of company you want to be in. Oh, and did I mention you paid 100% commission? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's important also. Okay? So the people that I work with, and I'm going to be reaching out to more of you. And by the way, if you happen to get a message or an invite from me to attend one of my webinars in your uh, chat box and you're not interested, do me a favor. Be honest enough to say, I'm not interested or thanks Jay, I'm making money in my present company. I can see me reaching my five figures a month in this company so I'm not interested in looking. I'm, I'm a big boy, I can take it. Because I'm gonna tell you, if you reach out to me and offer me, I got, I got a joke. I got one of those robot calls today, you know, uh, and I hope the guy that, that did that sees this, please stop sending me those robot calls. I don't listen to robot. If I pick up the phone, don't know your number, and it starts out, uh, you need to listen to this, okay, or this is going to make you a fortune or some old crazy junk like that, I'm cutting you off and I'm blocking your number so you can't call me again. So don't put me in your system. It's just a waste of your time, okay? So what I want to leave you with today, suggestion, because I've had some people that tried to tell me success was not spiritual. We had a discussion about this. Okay, I'm not going to go there today. I will do a show on that. But um, if you have not seen the movie, and it's on YouTube, it doesn't cost you anything, take a look at The Secret, please. Okay, look at it. I forgot. I know it's more than an hour, but it's worth your time to, to understand that things like the law of attraction, that they're real, that they're no joke, okay? We fail a lot because when we don't understand that number one, success is not just mental, it's spiritual. 
okay? You hear people talking about your mind and then your subconscious mind, and they'll start pointing down inside. Well, I tell you what, better not be down inside of me, <laughs> except the spirit. <laughs> if it is, it needs to get out of there and find a new home. Okay, so they just don't want to use the terminology because they feel they will turn people off. But at the same time, they're robbing you. When you read books like Think and Grow Rich, The Power of Subconscious Mind, uh, what's what, The Magic of Thinking Big, there's a number of them out there. They're all gonna go spiritual on you if you can read in between the lines. Okay, so let nobody fool you. All of us have the spirit of success in us. The problem is that we're brainwashed. This is heavy, I'm gonna end on here. We're brainwashed into believing that we can't make it without a job. Okay? That we, that we have to work for somebody else to take care of us. And I always say, you're gonna do 40 years. And look, my father preached that, but now understand, he got it from his father. Okay, I broke the chain. I broke the chain. You know, he wanted me to, to go become a, a, a desk clerk, so to speak, a bookkeeper, accountant. And instead I joined the military. And I ended up overseas, opened my first business when I was 27 years of age. Uh, brought my first uh, luxury car at the age of 28. Not just for me, but my wife also. I was driving a Maserati, she was driving a Jaguar. I think it was called an XJ4, it was a four-door limousine, okay? So your father's future or your grandfather's future or mother is not for you. You've gotta make your own way. At one time, yes, that was the deal. Grow up, go to school, get you a job, work for somebody else, and pray there's a pension there when you retire. If you want to do the things I say, if you want to put yourself in a situation where you're making uh, $5,000 a month, $15,000 a month, as this one individual wrote, you're not going to do that in a job because you're earning wages. Understand what I'm saying, okay? Lawyers, think of what they make an hourly wage. In, in the business I'm in, well, I've done this most of my career, I've made more than lawyers make. And you know, like more lawyers make $300 an hour or something like that, crazy, depends on who you are, okay? I used to laugh, because I thought of how many years they went to college. And I said, you know, my desire, my willingness to get up and go to work every day, my willingness to take a risk, because to be successful, you have to also take a risk, okay? Now, I'm gonna tell you what tomorrow's gonna be about, because you're gonna wanna check out tomorrow. I happen to find it tonight, but I'm not gonna do it tonight. Uh, 10 signs you, C on the road to success. That's the one we're gonna to do tomorrow. I'm not gonna to do it tonight. I want to keep this one short, okay? So, how much monthly income do you need? I want you to think about that, okay? And then of course, if you're looking for a solid company with a reputation that's paying you 100% commission, where you only need uh, between 60 and 63 people on your team to make $120,000 a year or $10,000 a month, then inbox me and ask me to watch the presentation and then get with you and show you how you can do it. I, I can't do it for you, but I can show you how to do it. Okay? Because <laughs> The talent that was given to me, yeah, I had a mentor. I just want to pass it on to you, okay? So we'll see you tomorrow, and we're going to talk about those signs of success. God bless. You have an awesome evening. Oh, remember, I'll see you at the top. I'll be waving to you from the top. The choice is yours. God bless.